Questions while we're playing we Overcooked? Were, I have, what kind of high pressure scenario are you creating? No, do it, let's do it. Hi, welcome to Let's Play, I'm Shalia. I'm Geraldine DeRoyter. And I'm Aubrey Martinson. And today we're gonna to be trying to play Overcooked too. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> How would you compare your real-life skills compared to how you perform in the game? Honestly, comparable, I would say. I'd say we're, I'm, I might be slightly more competent here. Yeah. But I'm, you're a great baker. I'm a phenomenal baker. Actually, you know what, I'm not a bad cook. What I am is bad at is improvising. Do you know the controls for the PS4 before we? No, but I think okay. that's more entertaining if I don't. Okay, like yeah, then let's drop. do it. Okay. okay. So the deal with this one is you got to put all of your ingredients egg. into the yeah. So put okay. the egg into the mixer. I'll put that. Um, and then okay. So now. And then what's that? That's orange. Yeah, yeah. So you see the orange? It's right behind you. Should I get this? Thing? Yeah. If you can chop up that orange. Wait. Should I get that? Okay. Chop up the. Orange. Should I turn yeah. on the mixer? Oh, it's already on. It is. Yeah. Oh. I didn't grab the orange. Okay. Oh, oh what's no. happening to me? Okay, I've saved our bowl from over mixing. I'm just gonna throw that right there. Um. Oh god. Oh no. And it's into the ice. We were going so. Well. I think it we're didn't going finish so well. mixing. Gonna... Um. Does it still need the orange in there? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, okay. So, so leave the bowl the in the mixer. Okay, Geraldine, grab that orange. Okay. Put the mixer back on the mixer. No, I finished. I put it on another mixer. So it's no, fine. it's in your hands. It's in your hands. Okay, so I've got all of it. You got to drop it back on the mixer. Okay. Okay. On and the so other one that doesn't have the bowl on the left. Oh, never mind. Oh. Okay, I guess that's fine. Put it here. Yep, yeah. yep. And then come get the orange if you can. Oh, How do you no? drop it? You got that it. Okay, done. and then grab the orange. Oh, okay. Grab so the orange. So it says done. Oh, wait. Oh, well. oh, you got it. You got it. Oh, no. What am I doing now? Okay, if you go grab it. Okay. Oh wait, no. You grab, you grab does it not need to it. be put into the oven? Um, it does, it's just gotta mix oh, with the orange okay. in it. Should okay, so just... now let's start on the next one. Okay, so egg. So the second one is just egg, flour, whatever the color is. I'm gonna put an egg It looks like a chicken. Is it? Is it like a chicken? Oh, in my mind, it looks like. Okay, this says it's done. Okay, what should I do put that so on the counter. Yeah, and I'll so that get she it, can put get it. it. Okay. Amazing, look at us go. Okay, there so we go. I need flour. I'm gonna try. Whoops, why is the egg mixing? Um, oh, because I think that. You it. now have two eggs in one. Well, I, I've heard that it's a good that. idea to have all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> okay, so flour. I've got too many eggs. I'm just gonna put this in the trash. Oh, that is in the oven. Oh, mm -hmm. oh and it's on And fire. you're in the water. <laughs> I fell into the water, and that's on fire. Oh, and our oven's on fire. Oh, you need <laughs> to get the, have an egg. get the fire extinguisher? No, let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, flour. And then Everything's going great. I'm really okay. proud. Egg. Feels really okay. on theme if you can't take the heat. Flour, and then egg. And then chicken thing. That's called eggs. No, the little <laughs> face. <laughs> How do I put right, this I'm in here? Put, oh, because there's not a. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in there. If you oh, there's the no egg, bowl. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go grab those. I feel hmm. like it. I'm gonna say it's like mixed nuts. Uh, maybe. Yeah. If it's like Halloween themed, are we making like a like fruitcake? Yeah, that type of situation. Thank you. My brain has like ceased to work. Okay, this is done. Um, oh wait, I, it needs a. Oh no, it doesn't. It needs an oven. Both an oven and an orange. Oh, an oven and an orange. Does we it? It's got fruit need cake. The nut mix. No, wait. I don't think it needs an orange. It just oh, needs to go in the. In the. Something's about to be on fire. Yes. But I need oh, to oh, get oh. this to the trash. I mean, to the oven. Oh, there it goes. Did we get some? Are we gonna serve no. that burnt? I don't think you can. Maybe that just goes in the trash. Oh wait, I think we actually succeeded in. <gasps> oh yeah, you got yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. One. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, right, what put do it I on need? a plate. Okay, that seems really fancy. I don't see why we need to put it on plates. Okay, Fine, so I'm gonna just come around okay. the back, maybe. Yeah, and, and put it on the thing. <gasps> we, wow. got we got one. We got one. one. And then this bowl. Do I need to wash this bowl? Yes. That seems high maintenance. Yeah. Sure. I'm not a really a bowl. What, how do I get rid of this? Um, I'm just gonna put this in the trash. Sure, yeah. Okay. Get rid of it. That's fine. Okay. We can do, yeah, oh, well, we don't need to reuse it. Oh, I don't think I need to wash this oh, bowl. I guess, oh, just the plates you have to wash. Okay. 
Look, 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 wait, we got something else going on. Oh, we've you got that in the oven, okay. 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 All right, look at us, look at us, look at us. Oh, <laughs> I, I died. But I think what's important here is that we, we, we delivered something. Karen, wow. I love the optimism. What do you think the Yelp reviews are I, at our establishment? I have no notes. <laughs> I think that we are by far um, the finest Arby's that, and now that's mean to Arby's actually. Because you know what, if you order at Arby's, they do give you food. Sure. <laughs> I think we're doing an amazing job um, because uh, we put things in the oven. <laughs> You just gotta please one person. All it takes is one. Yeah. All it takes is one. That's what everyone always says about restaurants. Right? You just need to please one person and hope that that one person has 3,000 individual Yelp accounts. Okay, so egg, We're baking flour. Again. All right, so I'm gonna grab, oh God, that is oh, no. goo. Goo. Okay, so, um, so flour. All right, so you've got, is that a pie do I, of some sort? And then. I, I mean, have an egg. Okay, I have flour. All right, let's get those together. Okay. Oh, bye. I'll okay. wait to put my egg in. This is, where's the mixer? Okay. There's okay. someone standing in front of a mixer. Okay. Okay, I have, I, I'm gonna drop my egg in here. Oh, no, oh. I'm putting it there. Actually. Okay. I'm and now I have, okay, I'll put it in behind you. Okay. Now we need to get one of those, um, whatever it is over here. Honeycomb? Oh, no. Perhaps. Oh. oh. Okay. I'm gonna... Yeah, what is that? Like, it looks like devil. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Okay, in I'll... a pie. What yeah. a choice. Um, what needs to be? Oh, we need a carrot. A, we need an egg. I'm. Oh, I'm not no, gonna lie. No. This is a horrible. Uh, oh no, the mixer died. Oh god. Oh. And I. Oh god. So this is yeah. a bad kitchen. Sure. The design of this. I'm. Sure. I'm not gonna lie. I think that whoever designed this was really not thinking about usability. No. So don't put put the egg on the counter. Sure. The sure. We put it in. Oh, I guess good we could call. just make pancakes. Yeah. Let's make pancakes. Okay. That seems good. All right. I'm gonna get a carrot. Oh, for the pancakes. Oh, for the carrot. Okay. There's like a carrot. <sighs> Just got eaten by a small I wonder if there's a situation because you can throw ingredients. Yeah, you can if somebody stays over oh, there. Oh, yeah. I wonder if someone can throw to the other person. I don't know what the reach is on this. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I so I have got this mixed together. Yeah, and then what if you like, try to like yeet a carrot across that void. Oh, shoot. Wait, which one, Which button is yeet? Um, I don't think it's the ball. I think it's. A square or a triangle? Yeah, it's got to be either the circle or the triangle. I want to say maybe. Here, let's just do some. Uh, you guys, I think I made pancakes. Okay, oh, okay. You did. Yeah, yeah. And now I just need to get them over there without dying into the goo. Wow. Well, I, I'm ready. You really did that. I did that. Wow. I made pancakes. This is true in the real world and oh, in the game. The one thing I can do way. is make pancakes. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Died for that egg. Oh, I did, I did. You know, I'm working on a video game right now, and I'm the lead writer, and I'm so stressed. Um, and I think maybe I should just give myself some uh, leeway to not be stressed. Yeah. yeah. What's the video game about? I have no uh, chance. It is a culinary video game. You uh, have to go into the magical wilds and collect. This is like that game. This is like when they ask people questions and make them eat spicy oh, wings. hot ones. <laughs> and, and that's just very difficult. It is a culinary, okay, uh, culinary video game um, that takes place in this magical version of Italy. And you have to collect ingredients in the wilds that are enchanted and a little bit dangerous. And um, as a result, 
one of the things that you kind of come back to over and over again in your book is how Italian cooking, um, you know, influenced obviously like your life as a child and growing up into like maybe like the foods that you prepare in the time, you know, the way that you yeah. see food. And so do we see that sort of, do we see that perspective come into the game? So I think that, I think what we try and do in the game is make it more of a universal story, but we wanted to set, to have it take place in Italy because honestly, um, we thought it would be fun. Like we thought it would be a fun setting. Um, and one of the things that we wanted to do, uh, and this is part of the narrative of the game, is so you're in this magical version of Italy, you're in this town, there's kind of this, this despotic ruler, uh, and the town is, is bifurcated into this upper village of like very fancy wealthier people and this lower village of poorer people. Um, and you run this restaurant and it's kind of this empowering thing that really brings a lot of joy to the people in the lower city. Um, but one of the things that is sort of prevalent um, in modern Italy too is, you know, there's this rising uh, fascist like leader and there is a lot of inherent racism in Italy. And so we kind of wanted to address that in the game and be like, hey, like, let's let's find an allegory for this and like you're fighting the bad guys and you're fighting fascism and you're also making wonderful really food. fun food yeah that yeah. sounds great so it's kind of you know like all my favorite things mm -hmm. yeah okay so oh we gotta cut the best oh you're like i don't know oh, oh i love this they're at the counter you're like i know okay. and then is that it um, you gotta plate it, yep. and then you gotta bring the plate. Oh wait, they the didn't even want conveyor. shrimp. They only want tuna. Mm -hmm. Gotta make another tuna. Oh, there's a shrimp. There's a shrimp ready to go if you want to. Oh, okay, cool. Take my yep. work yep. and yeah. it. Perfect. Oh. I mean, Aubrey, I think my whole career is taking <laughs> your work and running with it. Hey. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, more shrimp. Endless shrimp. Oh, my, whoops, one might there's say. There's one more. There's one more tuna. Um, now every time I see a Red Lobster commercial, think I think of you. That is really, that is the legacy I want. There is, for readers out there, a really excellent essay on your love for Red Lobster's Endless Shrimp. Yep, um, and honestly for Red Lobster in general because it is a fine dining, fine casual dining yeah, establishment. Yeah. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people have these loves uh, that are somewhat inexplicable, but still really important. Yeah, I think I was at Eater a week or two ago. They were doing a piece about the return. I mean, I don't know where it went, but of like fast casual. Mm. And I think whether it's like Red Lobster, like I think my Red Lobster is, or my Red Lobster English shrimp is like the like little cinnamon butter, like biscuits at Tus Texas Roadhouse. Oh, mm. I've never been to a Texas Roadhouse. Oh, wow. It's yeah. magical. Aubrey, I need a plate. <laughs> Um, but just, I, yeah, it's truly something about that kind of experience and that kind of like opulence on a budget. Like it's, there's a, there's a, there's a, something really beautiful to it. And I think a lot of people have a lot of fond memories from childhood. I th think my endless fan fantasy from a child was like, there was, um, was it? The there was a Roadhouse, Roadhouse Grill, maybe it was called, that they had the peanuts where you can like eat the peanuts and throw the, the shells and throw the shells on the floor. Oh, I've never been to a place like that. It I've been rocked. to bars like that. Was that Texas Roadhouse or was that? It had a different name. Okay, I um, know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh wow, yeah, I feel like you just unlocked something. Right, <laughs> I'm so glad you also knew what I was talking about. See, we got this. That was okay. excellent. Oh, because there were only go. two things that we had to choose from. <gasps> Three, Three stars. stars. We failed yes. no orders. Started wow. from the bottom. Oh my, my gosh. gosh, ladies. Oh my gosh, should we give it all up and open a sashimi restaurant? Pretty much. Yeah. Thanks for watching. My book is out March 12th, 2024, but you can pre-order it now. And I promise, I promise I write better than I play Overcooked. So please check it out. If you can't take the heat. <gasps> <laughs>